is the trick of the enemy. Too many times he tried to have you focusing on the negative stuff, on the stuff that, that we don't want nobody to know. You know, the secret things. Uh huh. And sometimes he wants you to look at your life like the half filled, full, uh, filled glass, if you will. You know, the way he wants you to look at it is that the glass is half empty. But I beg to differ. Child of God, if you look at that glass the way God is looking at it, it's never half empty. It's always on its way to fulfill. It's half full, if you will. It's right there at that place where God can give more. That's what God wants to do with you. He wants to give more. He wants to add to you. But the devil is coming to steal, kill, and destroy. He's trying to take your purpose. Tell your neighbor, don't focus on that negative stuff. There is so much negativity that's around us. We could be consumed by, but if we're going to be consumed by something, then be consumed by greatness. Uh -huh. There is so much in you, people of God. I just came to encourage you. Consumed means to be inspired. It means to be addicted, enthusiastic, and devoted. Uh, I'm addicted to greatness. Uh, I'm addicted to being what God wants me to be. I ain't got time to focus on what people are saying or who don't like me. I'm addicted to greatness. I'm trying to get to that place and to that purpose that God has for me. That, that place that God ordained from the I was in my mama's womb that place that the devil don't want you to reach but I'm addicted to greatness I feel like preaching people of God you have to know your potential I'm going somewhere here you have to know who you are and whose you are I tell the young people all the time you have been purchased by the blood of Christ you have been adopted by God you are royalty and that's what I love about this it does not matter whether you can, you don't even know the name of your daddy if your mama said you was a oops if your, your mama said you wasn't meant to be here I tell the young people if I was a oops then I'm going to be the greatest oops there ever was call me Tim Oops Slaughter because when God gets through with me I'm getting to that place. You gotta know who you are. You are joint heirs with Christ. There is a purpose for your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I fear you right now. You are not out here just existing. You're not out here with no purpose and no destination. But every last one of you, from the time where you was in your mother's womb, God stamped a purpose for your life. God stamped destiny on you. He called you out, called you forth. And all you got to do is walk into the fulfillment, walk into the steps. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Are there anybody in here? Is there anybody in here that's walking after the righteousness of God? Is there any God chasers in the house? Anybody chasing after the things of God? All you got to do, baby, is know who you are. You're not just somebody here. I don't care if that joker told you. You need me. You can't do nothing without me. Baby, I came to tell that devil he's a lie. You are great. You are the best thing that ever happened to the kingdom of God. But God is waiting for you to realize your potential and walk in favor. Let me take my time here. Understand, people, you are destined for greatness. It doesn't matter what your past was or what pain you have endured. You have to remember not to despise the process. That's what it is, baby. You're in the process. Second Timothy 2 and 12 tells us if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Then he tells us here in the third chapter 12 verse, he says, yea, in all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution.
persecution. What am I trying to say here? Ah, Pastor Spencer, I got a problem. I got a bone to pick with all these preachers that want to feed the people of God. That you're gonna, once you get saved, every day will be good. You are supposed to be just prosperous on the whole land and never endure any hardship. If you endure any hardship, then you must have sinned. You must have done something wrong. But I came to talk to somebody here. It's not a coincidence that you're here tonight. It's not something strange. The fact that you've been through some things is part of the process that God is trying to pull some things out of you. I feel my help in here. I better slow down before I go to the mountain. But God is trying to pull some things out of you. Tell your neighbor it's part of the process. So brothers and sisters, I came to tell somebody it's not a question of whether or not you will suffer. It's how will you suffer. That is the question, baby. Will you go through your sufferings complaining? Will you go through your suffering having a woe is me party? Help me, Holy Ghost here. Will you go through your suffering? Y'all know how we do it. You got that child, I lost my job drama. What am I going to do now? Ah, what am I going to do? The bills I do. My home is in foreclosure. Woe is me. Baby, shake yourself. Remember what God did for you. Baby, if he brought you out last week, if he brought you out last year, then what makes you think that he won't do it again? Know who you Know who you are. I feel my help in here. I came to encourage somebody. Take your seat. I came to encourage you. How will you suffer? Will you go through your suffering? Praising God. Will you go through your suffering? Sing like Job. Though he slay me. Yet will I trust him. I'm trying to behave. But I feel a praise in here. That's why Peter tells us. In 1 Peter. 4, 12 and 13. He says beloved. Think it not strange. Concerning the fiery trial. Which is to try you. But rejoice. In as much as ye are partakers. Of Christ's sufferings. That when his glory shall be revealed. Help me Holy Ghost. Ye may be glad also. With exceeding joy. Ah, He tells us in verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. I came to tell somebody, if you have to go through some trials, I'm going through with a praise. If I gotta go through, I'm going through lifting his name. If he's calling me to go through a storm, then baby, I'm going through shouting. I tried that card already. I sang that song already. It brought me no joy. It's time to sing a new song. Ah, though you slay me, though you bring trials to me, though you test my home, though you test my job, though you shake some things up, yet will I trust. I feel like preaching in here. I came to tell somebody. How will you suffer? You gotta go through Blessing his name Because while I'm going through He's making me stronger While I'm going through In the midst of my suffering He's giving me More anointing In the midst of my suffering He's making me wiser In the midst of my suffering He's preparing my destiny In the midst of it Tell somebody He's preparing you you for your purpose. He's preparing you for your destiny. Despise not the process. Baby, it ain't nothing strange. The reason why they hate on you is because there's greatness 
from you. The reason why they don't like you is because you've been great from the since you, from since the time you was in your mama's belly. You've been great. And if you know who you are, if you walk the way God wants you to walk, then that's all you'll be. It's great, great, great. Tell somebody I'm called to be great. Here we go. In the text here. Let's go to the text, people of God. We find here. I'm almost done. Just give me about five more minutes. In our text, we find that Paul shows us that we have 